Hi, my collective friends, Sandra from ForYourChi.com, here today to do your tarot, weekly tarot and oracle card reading for July 11th through July 17th of 2022. Thanks for being here with me. Well, I did something that I don't normally do. It's been a rare occasion that I pull out Archangel Raphael healing oracle card deck, but I felt like I had to after I saw the card for the weekend in particular. But the good news here for this week, everyone, is that Monday and Tuesday, Fulfillment of Wishes, this is the Nine of Cups in traditional tarot. Your glasses are half full. It is important to focus on the blessings that you do have. Yes, there is stuff happening. Yes, there are frustrating events and things and news, um, not just on the media, of course, which I would not advise anyone dive into right now. But, you know, I've been saying that for five years, ever since I've been on YouTube to stay away from mainstream media because it's too negative. But I'm just talking about personal news, really, of events and things that you're going to have to cope and deal with and everyday stuff, right? But the good news is you're getting everything that you need and your prayers are being answered in some way, shape or form. Even if you don't have hard concrete evidence of it, you will hear whispers of it um, or the feeling of it Monday, Tuesday. And that is good news. Um, let me go to the Oracle card. Diet is important here. And there's a, the sayings on the bottom of these cards are prayers, just like all of the Archangel decks are. So let me just say this overall this week, it is not a good week at all to overindulge in any substance whatsoever, not just drugs and alcohol. Those are big ones but also junk food. I would avoid the junk food as much as possible, particularly the sugar. Now, if, and anything else that flares you up, let me just say that. If there's anything that you know that you shouldn't have because it doesn't agree with you, whether it's dairy or gluten or corn or, you know, all of the above, it could be 25 different things. I would definitely not chance it this week because of what, not just this card, but what we have coming up. But this card is a good reminder to work on more of a balanced diet. So if you know that you've been hitting the processed foods too much and you need to back off of it and start and do the fruits and veg or salads, whatever the case may be, then definitely make some real effort to do that. Now, I don't want the shadow on the card too much. Mental conflict. Now, it turns out mental conflict for most of you is actually brain fog. And I've never read this card like this before. It's so strange. Um, but the Archangel card, look at this detoxification. So not only are we being told and reminded, Hey, stay away from the foods that aren't good for you, but we're also being reminded that we need a detox from something. This could be a substance. Um, sorry about that. I was just getting a message and then I lost, I lost track of what it was. Let me, give me just a second. It might come back to me. Oh yeah. So more water and make sure you are really drinking the most purified water possible. And that could be, you know, it just depends. It could be spring water for some of you, but it depends on the brand. Um, you know, it's, it's not, 
water filters are, you get what you pay for. So even if you're saying, well, you're drinking a lot of water, it might not be the right kind of water. I would muscle test the water if I were you. And I would, I would send it off somewhere to get tested if you don't have anything to test it at home, which most of us don't, right? But so water, water, water purification, stay away from the substances of what you know that you shouldn't have, what's not good for you, alcohol, and of course, illicit drugs. Now, for those of you prescription drug takers, here's for you, this, this one's for you. Now, I'm not talking about pain prescriptions here. I'm talking about antidepressants and the like. For those of you who take antidepressants, this is a bad week to fall off of your meds. Um, so if that's you who I'm talking to, I would definitely go get the pill bottle and do a count and make sure you have enough for at least the next week for sure. If it's time for you to get a refill, well then let this be your confirmation. Because the base chakra for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you could be feeling a little depressed. I'm also getting that the full, the full moon is going to affect you this week. Now the full moon is on Wednesday, but as you know, full moon can affect you a couple days before, a couple days after, or all the days of that particular week, depending on how sensitive you are. You could be feeling the moon. For those of you that don't have depression what, or anxiety whatsoever, this could also be anxiety, by the way, anti-anxiety meds. Prescription, of course. I'm not talking about illicit drugs here, okay? The base chakra could indicate, for those of you who do not have depression and anxiety problems, that... You could be feeling under the weather. So this is why I do these readings, to give you all a heads up of what you need to watch out for so that you can avoid this altogether. Many of you are going to be able to avoid this base chakra card altogether, which is fantastic. Others of you may need to uh, clear out that base chakra. The best way to do that is a sea salt bath if you can. If you can't, Yoga is also good, or do one of those uh, chakra meditation clearings. Now, this is so strange because I'm actually feeling a vibration as just as I talk about this in my base chakra, and I have not felt this before. However, I felt it several hours ago, and I wondered what it was, and now I understand. Um, I actually thought that I was feeling like the vibration of, I know this sounds weird, a vibration of a semi-truck going down the road that was rattling the ground. Uh, but it wasn't. It's actually the base chakra. So anyway, going back to the portion of you that are not prone to anxiety and depression, you may be feeling under the weather what I would do if I were you is hit it off at the pass and I'm recording this reading on Monday, you know, on Tuesday or Wednesday, as soon as you can, I would start back up on your immune boosting supplement regimen. For those of you who do that, um, I would get on that horse as soon as possible. Whatever you do that works for you. I'm not telling you to do anything specific. If it's vitamin C, then, it, you know, it's vitamin C for you. Some people take echinacea. Uh, some people take elderberry syrup. Some people take colloidal silver. You know, whatever you do to boost your immune system, some people do one of those um, vitamin C powders, you know, I would, I would definitely start doing that at the beginning of the week or the midweek to boost your immune system because for some of you, you're going to need it. Now look at this. Exercise is the key. 
Now it could be that the base chakra is calling out low, just the people who feel low energy this weekend and you're going to feel lethargic. The base chakra can totally predict that. But if you haven't exercised all week, then you have something to blame it on. So for some of you, this is going to be a confirmation to get back on the exercise horse that you have gotten away from. So, um, you know, I think I've lectured you all enough about diet and exercise and health this week. <laughs> this is obviously not medical advice. It's just good old fashioned common sense and some cards. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care. Have a great week. See you next time.